Literally the day it's Championship Night at Dominion Raceway, and we are trailing four points to Peyton Sellers. Now that's the equivalent to two positions on the racetrack, but he would have the tiebreaker. So throughout the two races tonight, we need to beat him by at least three positions. Now, if you watched the last vlog, we brought a really good car to the track, but we weren't able to get a win. We brought it home with two second place finishes. I think we made some gains on it last night in practice, and I think we're going to be better today. Now, first practice is already done. I believe we were P4, and if you can hear the smart mods on the track right now, that's why I'm yelling inside the toter. But I am beyond excited, and if you're following along with the national deal, the national points got a lot closer last night, too. Now, Lane only leads two points over Peyton, so there's a lot on the line tonight with uh, my championship versus Peyton, and then Peyton's national championship versus Lane, but really, that deal doesn't matter to me too much, because we're out here to execute on this. We put ourselves in the position to bring home a, a third track championship here, and I intend on doing just that. We'll do whatever it takes to, to make sure that we leave champions tonight. We're still yet to get a win on the year, and I, I feel like that's going to be coming tonight. Like, we've got a really good race car. I'll say it again, but it's going to be interesting to see. I don't know how tonight's going to play out. I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't turn in to total carnage, but I don't know how Lane and Peyton are going to race each other. I don't know how Peyton's going to race me, but it's gonna, it's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a fun video to watch. Uh, Flow Racing is here tonight for the first time, so I'll be able to take clips from the broadcast and add that to the video. But with that being said, I'm excited to get to work. I really appreciate all the support on the videos and everybody that's followed along all season. It's been fun to take you guys with me. Uh, I feel like the videos have improved a lot over the past two years. Now, last year at this point, we were not in contention to win a championship. We were just going out racing for wins. But this year, this is going to be my biggest video yet. We have a lot on the line tonight. Now, you guys have seen everything that we've gone through all year, the ups, the downs. And I, I think everybody that's been following along knows how much this means to me. So with that being said, if you are new, be sure to subscribe to the channel and follow along with us. Next weekend is Martinsville too, so that's going to be another big race. And also give the video a thumbs up. It helps push it out there to more people, and I really appreciate it too. So with that being said, I got to get ready for practice number two. It's time to go out there. It's time to work. It's time to execute. We put ourselves in this position to go out there and potentially get our third track championship at Dominion Raceway. So I hope everybody's excited. This is going to be this is gonna be a fun video. I'm ready for a great day of racing. So I'll be sure to take you all along with me and update you throughout the day. Qualifying's about to start now. These modifiers are putting down a lot of rubber, so I'm interested to see what kind of times we're going to be putting up. Track's definitely slower today. I was told not to say we have a good piece for this. So we'll see how qualifying goes, see if we can't get ourselves a second straight pole. Just like it's getting more and more intense the more that we wait. I normally don't get nervous, but I feel like that pressure in my chest. I'm ready to rock, man. It's like it's intense. There's a lot of people here. This is a big race. There's a lot on the line tonight. And like uh, that guy just said, I want to become the first ever three time champion here. I'm really looking forward to making that happen. It's going to be a good time tonight. Let's see what we can do. Uh, you ever seen Hawaii? Is it Hawaii 5 0? Where it's like, yeah! I'll do it with <laughs> Edit that. Right here, <laughs> My mom says his videos are annoying. Yeah. Not true. I am pretty annoying. It's understandable. I'm astonishing. Uh, 
So you racing the Winston or you racing for second like always? Oh, come on. <laughs> That's oh, damn. You're the one who said that. Damn. You're the one who said that. Why are you rushing my ear, bro? I'm not done. He's like, he's like hitting my ear with the microphone. All right. No, I'm not done yet. I'm still going, yeah. I don't even have a long name. Not long. That's what she said. How is that any at all what she said? How long is your name? Can you sign mine too, please? Yes. Bad jokes on it. Yeah, it was, you, you, you flopped on that one. Bobby Labonte watches my videos, so you should too. He does, and that's, that, that's a lie. He does. I don't, at least I don't think it does. He might, I don't know. Hold on the right hand, you hold it. The driver of the car, number 88, currently second in the point standing in the Barnes baby machine. No! Should have been here the night he jumped off the wall. Oh, I see that. Everybody did it. That's where he got his nickname, Air Gold. Let's go trackside here in just a moment as uh, we've got the invitation with Matthew Delner. That's coming up next. Let's think about all the people who fight for our nation's freedom and who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. Lights are off on the pace car, making that hard left turn. We're ready to get this one started. Landon Pebbleton and Peyton Sellers side by side. Three points in the air, they turn the right pedal and get down into one. Good jump for Pebbleton, but it's going to be Sellers on the outside, his teammate. You have to think he's going to let Sellers go, but he battles back on the inside. Barnes now on the outside. Man, Barnes almost looked to make it three wide there. Pebbleton gets a little shot from Lane Rick. He gets underneath, they go three wide early. Doug Barnes on his outside, does Peyton Sellers. They're working into the Alcoba Boys. Let's put it in the hurry. A good start there for Doug Barnes, who's trying to race his way to a title. Then you've got the 26 of Sellers. He'd like a title, but he's also fighting for a national title as they work off the corner of the So let's see what happens here as they enter the Alcova Mortgage Restart Zone. All right. Riggs all over the back end of the seller's machine down into turns one and two. Riggs looking to go to the inside as they go down the back straight away. And Riggs has to pull down to the bottom of the racetrack. Sellers holds on to it. Doug Barnes on the outside. Man, what a start by Lane Riggs. He was pushing Peyton Sellers all the way down the front stretch and all the way through one and two. It's going to be a racy one, that's for sure, as they head down into the corner. Sellers trying to battle back. He wants that top spot back. And at the line, it's still Barnes, Sellers, Riggs, Donnelly, and Diaz. Now, this might be an advantage for Barnes. As he said, he was taking a higher line to avoid that rubber on the track. So we'll see if this entry is going to work for him. You see Sellers a little loose on the bottom trying to cut it. But Sellers was picking up at the strike. They gave it to Barnes, even though he crossed the line first. It all depends on where your, uh, your, your transponder is mounted. Here comes your battle for the top spot. Sellers on the inside, Barnes on the outside. This time it was clearly Sellers. Yeah, Sellers definitely had him by a nose that time. You've got Lane Riggs now looking underneath Barnes, but he was able, not able to get underneath him. A little, little, oh, a little contact from Doug Barnes, and that's going to open the door for Lane Riggs. They're going to try to push. A little kiss in the caboose there from Barnes on Sellers. Lane Riggs trying to pounce on it, unable to do it this time as they head down into turn number three. Keep in mind, the 26 is battling for the eight with the 88 for the track title, and the 26 is battling the 99 for the national title. Riggs tacked on to his caboose. Yeah, and meanwhile, you know, Peyton Sellers, like you said, he's trying to check out up front. 
Doug Barnes might be holding back the 99 as the 99 just got into the wall here at the line. Keep in line, we and going on in the back. It's thin. And Peyton Sellers wouldn't mind seeing it stay that way. Yeah, I mean, if another caution comes out, Doug Barnes was holding his own on the outside. I think it could be pretty hairy uh, if we go back to a, a restart. You know, I think Doug Barnes, you know, he, he, he's a wild card. He wants to win. He wants the championship. I don't, I don't put anything crazy by him. Uh, you bring up the numbers game with Wayne Riggs and maybe trying to get that eighth finishing position. Well, right now, Lane Riggs finds him. Watch in the corner. Doug's closing it up just a little bit. So he's got 16, 17 laps now at the strike to reel him in. Leaders coming up. Right now, Ray Pittman. As Peyton, Sellers. Peyton Sellers trying to pick up his 13th win. And Doug Barnes closing in on Peyton Sellers now. In fact, he's knocking on the back door as they work by Pittman, the lap traffic down into turn number one. Oh, Pittman and Barnes get together. Pittman went in hard and Doug Barnes goes around while challenging for the lead. It's not anything Pittman did on purpose. He went in hard. Barnes was right there and he tapped him. Barnes tried to save it and both cars go around, but whoa, what a big, big hurt for Doug Barnes. Pittman, the lap traffic down into turn number one. Oh, Pittman and Barnes get together. runs 10th now and here comes Doug Barnes picking his way through the field and we got three to go in this one with Peyton Sellers out front. Sellers down the back straight away then you've got the 31 of Donnelly who's looking to finish up a good run tonight. Trent Barnes awfully strong he's got third in the car number one followed by the 05 of Diaz and Callahan in the 20. It's two to go. Win number 19 on the year. It's Peyton Sellers. Donnelly has a good run in second, followed by Barnes, Diaz, Captain. Now we're safe out of the machine, y'all. Make some noise for Peyton Sellers, everybody. Man. So we'll talk a little bit about what happened in the first race after, but we're going to need a miracle to get the championship at this point. But right now, we're just going to go out there and give it all we can, see if we can end the year on a win. It's really disappointing right now. We're going to give it hell, see if we can end the year on a good note. So, let's get it done. We got 14 cars. We lost six in race number one. Here we go. Green flag ready to wave as they come off of turn number four. And Waldrip up through the gearbox in a hurry, down into turn number one. Waldrip out in front. Riggs is second, but March is on the inside trying to do what he can do to make things happen. Yeah, meanwhile, look at Doug Barnes giving a big push to Sellers, throws him off the track, and then he does a little cut maneuver trying to get underneath Donnelly. You had Donnelly there on the inside of Sellers. Sellers to the outside of Donnelly trying to chase and pick up that spot. Doug Barnes trying to pick a line. He's going to stay down on the bottom of the racetrack while Sellers stays high. Oh, well, they get kind of stacked up there. Diaz gets a little loose. That pushes Donnelly out of the groove for his money. And Trent Barnes in that car down on number one. Whoa, he just got a little. They got all stacked up there with Riggs and March made contact. Trent Barnes, he really had to get on the minor. So did Doug Barnes. Doug Barnes into the wall on the outside. He got up high and he's got a flat tire. He's gonna have trouble, his sparks fly off his car. Yeah, he's definitely got a tire going down and I tell you, Donnelly followed him right up into the wall and Donnelly's gonna take it down to pit road, he makes it. So Donnelly's on pit road, Barnes, you can see he's got heavy damage on the right front. Mason Bailey trying to get by him, he's on the inside. And you can see that right front getting flat on the Doug Barnes car. He'll pull high in turns one and two to bring out the yellow. 
Shane Riggs is going to be able to close in with Trent Barnes, Justin Martz, and Peyton Sellers now as well. Riggs back to the inside, and uh, we've got caution. The pick.